Today, we will talk about top 10 most important document in Australian history. The records of the Australasian Federation Conference of 1890 and the Australasian Federal Conventions of 1891 and 1897-8 are among the most significant founding documents of the Australian nation. At the Australasian Federation Conference, held in Melbourne from 6 to 14 February 1890, leading politicians from the six Australian colonies and New Zealand affirmed the desirability of an early union under the Crown and committed themselves to persuading their governments to send delegates to a convention which would consider and report on a scheme for a federal constitution. Accordingly, the members of the National Australasian Convention of 1891 which met in Sydney from 2 March to 9 April, did not debate whether the colonies should federate but how. 1. The Australian Constitution, 1900. The Australian Constitution, which came into effect in 1900, established the framework for Australia's federal system of governance. It set out the structure and powers of the three branches of government, the Parliament, Legislature, the Executive, which includes the Queen, represented by the Governor-General and the Ministry and the Judiciary. Key points include Structure of Government The Constitution comprises eight chapters with 128 sections, specifying the separation of powers between three arms of government. 2. Terra Nullius, 1770 Terra Nullius is a Latin phrase meaning land belonging to no one. This term has historically been used in international law to describe territory that has never been subject to the sovereignty of any state or nation. In the context of Australia, terra nullius is used to refer to the legal assumption made by the British during their colonization in 1770. The British declared Australia to be terra nullius, implying that the land was unoccupied or uninhabited at the time of British arrival. This declaration allowed the British to claim sovereignty over Australia without the need to negotiate treaties or agreements with the indigenous peoples already living there, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. 3. Proclamation of South Australia, 1836 The Proclamation of South Australia was an important event that took place on December 28, 1836. Captain John Henmarsh, the first governor of South Australia, formally established the province of South Australia at a ceremony near the old gum tree in present-day Glenelg, near Adelaide. This followed the passing of the South Australia Act by the British Parliament in 1834, which allowed for the establishment of the colony as a place for free, not convict, settlers. South Australia was envisioned to applaud Edward Gibbon Wakefield's ideas about systematic colonization, which aimed to balance the number of laborers and capitalists and sell land at a sufficient price to fund the immigration of laborers. 4. Mabo Judgment, 1992 The Mabo of Queensland, No 2 Judgment, more commonly known as the Mabo Decision, was a landmark ruling by the High Court of Australia on June 3, 1992. This ruling fundamentally altered the land law of Australia. The case was led by Eddie Koiki Mabo, a man from the Miriam people of the Torres Strait Islands, along with fellow plaintiffs, Rev. David Passy and James Rice. They sought to challenge the doctrine of terra nullius, which held that the land belonged to no one at the time of British colonization. They argued for the recognition of their traditional land rights or native title. In its ruling, the High Court found that the Miriam people were entitled to possession, occupation, use, and enjoyment of the lands in the Murray Islands. 5. Eureka Stockade Charter, 1854 The Eureka Stockade is a significant event in Australian history, which took place near Ballarat, Victoria, in 1854. It was an armed rebellion by gold miners, known as diggers, against British colonial authority due to unfair taxes and a lack of political rights. While there isn't a document called the Eureka Stockade Charter, there's a key document associated with this event known as the Eureka Oath or the Eureka Flag Oath. This oath was reportedly sworn by the miners beneath the Eureka flag a flag consisting of a white cross and stars on a blue field, which has since become a symbol of rebellion and democracy in Australia. The oath, attributed to a leader of the rebellion named Raffaello Carboni, 
is typically rendered as, we swear by the Southern Cross to stand truly by each other and fight to defend our rights and liberties. 6. 1967 Referendum The 1967 referendum in Australia was a landmark event in the country's history demonstrating overwhelming public support for improving the rights and status of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Prior to the 1967 referendum, Australian Constitution's two discriminatory references to Indigenous Australians were Section 51 XXX, which stated that the federal government could make laws with respect to the people of any race other than the Aboriginal race in any state for whom it is deemed necessary to make special laws. Section 127, which stated that in reckoning the numbers of the people of the Commonwealth, or of a state or other part of the Commonwealth, Aboriginal natives shall not be counted. 7. The Harvester Judgment, 1907. The Harvester Judgment of 1907 is a foundational decision in Australian labor law that established the concept of the basic wage, also known as a living wage. The judgment set a precedent in the Australian industrial relations system and was a significant step towards ensuring a fair wage for workers. The case, known officially as X Part A.G. McKay, Harvester Case, was heard by Justice Henry Bournes Higgins of the Commonwealth Court of Conciliation and Arbitration. 8. Treaty of Waitangi, 1840 The Treaty of Waitangi, signed in 1840, is a pivotal document in the history of New Zealand. Named after the place of the Bay of Islands where it was first signed, the treaty is an agreement between the British Crown and more than 500 Nori chiefs. The treaty is written in both English and Nori, and it consists of a preamble and three articles. However, differences in translation between the English and Nori versions of the treaty have led to significant historical disputes over its interpretation. 9. The National Apology to the Stolen Generations, 2008 on February 13, 2008, the then Prime Minister of Australia, Kevin Rudd, issued a formal apology to Australia's Indigenous peoples, particularly the Stolen Generations. The apology was given in the Federal Parliament, Canberra, and it was one of the most significant moments in the country's modern history. The term Stolen Generations refers to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Australians who were forcibly removed as children from their families by the Australian federal and state government agencies and church missions under acts of their respective parliaments from the late 1800s to the 1970s. The children were placed into institutions or fostered out to white families. The intent of these policies was to assimilate Indigenous children into Euro-Australian society. 10. The Australia Act, 1986 the Australia Act of 1986 is a significant constitutional document in the history of Australia. It effectively severed the last constitutional ties between Australia and the United Kingdom, making Australia fully sovereign, independent, and federal. Before the Act was passed, some elements of Australia's legal system remained under the power of the British Parliament and courts. The Australia Act removed these final vestiges of British legal authority. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. Before you go, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.